Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you we can draw aside from our busy week on your day to be able to gather together for fellowship and to be able to hear your word. Pray you open our hearts to understand your word so we can put it into practice. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Last week uh, we were thinking about God's call on our hearts and the challenges that we may face. Thought about Gideon and some of the challenges to his call to rescue Israel from the invading Midianites. In my own life, my call to minister to our first Aborigine friends, the Aborigines in Arnhem Land, I finished my training at BHP in Port Kembla, applied to the Church Mission Society, I've been accepted, and I was instructed to spend a year at Moore Theological College in Newtown. That was quite a challenge. Well, my year was coming to an end. I was looking forward to flying off to Arnhem Land. A new challenge arose to my call to test it. I had mentioned to the principal that sometime in the future I'd like to come back to Moore College and finish my degree. His advice was, stay now, finish your course if your CMS approves. That was a real challenge because that meant two more years of study and then two more years after that in the Diocese of Sydney before I even saw my Aborigine friends in Arnhem Land. Well, after praying about that and considering that kind of challenge, it did all come to fruition. Now we know that Gideon had been called to lead the Israeli soldiers and defeat the invading Midianites. But then a challenge arose to Gideon to test his call. He was asked to cut down his father's Asherah pole destroy the idol of Baal and offer up a bull, his father's bull, to sacrifice to Yahweh, the true God of Israel. Now Gideon was being asked to break down his father's idol. And so Gideon decided to do that during the night. Nobody was watching. And that was done. However, the angry Baal worshippers discovered that Gideon was responsible. So they said to his father, Bring out your son. He must die. He's broken down Baal's idol, an altar, the Asherah pole beside it. So they're very angry at what Gideon had done. Interesting enough, Joash, his father, replied, Are you going to plead Baalim's cause? 
Are you trying to save him? Whoever fights for him shall be put to death by morning. If Baal really is a god, he can defend himself when somebody breaks down his altar. So that day they called Gideon, Jerob Baal, saying, let Baal contend with him because he broke down Baal's altar. Jesus once said, many are called, but few are chosen. You probably know a number of Christian people who were called for some particular ministry. But the challenge is too great. And they turn their backs on God's calling and go on with their own lives. You're probably familiar with the parable that Jesus told about a sower who sowed his seed on his land. And as he was sowing, some of that seed fell on the path, on the hard ground. And that seed couldn't sink into the ground. So the birds came along and ate it. Some seed fell amongst the thorns and uh, amongst the rocks and things. Didn't have much moisture. The seed sprouted, but it couldn't survive. Some seed fell amongst the thistles and the thorns and other things. And there's too much competition. And the seed couldn't continue. And some seed fell on the good ground and came up and produced a harvest. In our lives there, are, there may be many attractions, worldly interests, and those kind of interests can choke out God's priority in our lives. Somebody said, you're too busy for God, you're too busy. When I finished um, my Moore College training, I was ordained in that ministry, and I was appointed as a chaplain to the mobile church in Trenches Forest. In those days it was a forest. I was ministering in Forestville, Belrose, Oxford Falls, and North Balgala. Following that, I went on to Bury on the south coast as a locum. Then up to the Blue Mountains to become rector of Wellerowang. Begin to wonder, what have I done? I offered myself to go to Arnhem Land. I spent all that time at Moore College. I've been in French's Forest, Berry. Now I'm in Wellerowang. Am I ever going to get to Arnhem Land? And the challenge was, why don't you just stay and minister in one of the parishes in Sydney? Forget about those Aborigines up in Arnhem Land. They look after themselves. But I knew God's calling was strong. So I asked um, the Archbishop of Sydney, he'd been a missionary himself in China, to free me, allow me to go to Arnhem Land. 
And he agreed. And so I went to Arnhem Land and spent 16 years with my Nungabuyu tribal friends at Numbawa. My nickname is Ngaralu Murungun. Mud crab <laughs> of the Murungun clan. Now Gideon had put his life on the line to destroy his father's pagan god Balaam's altar and the wooden Asherah idol to face the next step and to lead the Israeli soldiers to defeat the invading Midianites. Now those challenges that uh, I may have had and Gideon had in their lives can be real tests to our commitment. For Gideon to destroy his father's Baal's altar was really like going against his father's chosen religion. My choice to go to the Aborigines in Arnhem Land was really against my father's wishes. He considered my plans absolutely foolish. And parishes in Sydney, an alternative possibility. Now God's call on our hearts and lives needs to be tested and prayed over and to be assured by God's peace and presence. Doors do close, others open as we step forward in faith. So when Sydney Diocese freed me, closed my ministry at Walerawang, another took over and that was to go to Arnhem Land which was awaiting me. In uh, Isaiah in the Old Testament it says whether you turn to the right or the left your ears will hear a voice behind you saying this is the way walk in it. I heard God's call at an early age, tested certainly stage by stage. He came to fruition being in God's hands amongst my Aboriginal friends in Arnhem Land. You too may one day hear God's call, so listen then his will in store. For we know that Gideon in Israel, certainly in God's will, prevailed. Whether you turn to the right or the left, your ears will hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way walk in it. Thank you.